There is no doubt that an eye cord edging looks great around a blanket or a poncho or a washcloth. Knitting an eye cord along the side of the work is pretty straightforward. But when it's time to turn the corner, that's when we have an issue. If we keep knitting the eye cord around the corner same way as we do along the side of the work, the corner gets rounded. That is okay, but not perfect. And we can do better than that, right? In this video, I'll show you how to make a perfect corner with an eye cord. Here's my swatch. As you see, I added an eye cord edging to one of the sides and arrived at my first corner. It's right here. The next spot to pick up a stitch is at the very corner of my swatch. So it's right, right over here. So I insert my right needle in that spot, in the very corner, like this. Then pick up a stitch. So I have four, five stitches on my needle. Then I slide all five stitches to the other end of the needle and start knitting. First knit three stitches of the eye cord and then make a decrease. Slip one stitch knit twice, return it back to the left needle and knit these two stitches together through the back loop. For the next row, I won't pick up a new stitch from the work. Instead, I simply slide my four stitches to the other tip of the needle and knit all stitches one by one. So this time I have four stitches because I haven't pick up, picked up a stitch. So I knit all stitches and in this row I won't be making any decreases because there is nothing to decrease, right? We haven't picked up anything. It's just for this one row. Now we pick up a stitch from the work again but we do it from the same spot at the very center, um, at the very corner of the swatch. So I go into the same spot right here and pick up another stitch. So this corner spot has two stitches coming from it. So we picked up uh, two stitches from that same spot. Now slide the stitches to the other side of the needle, to the other tip of the needle, and this time we have five stitches, so I'm going to knit three stitches and then make a decrease. I slip one, return it back and knit the two stitches together through the back loop. And that's the trick. Now we have a perfect corner and no holes or other unpleasant issues with it. I'll make my eye cord for a few more stitches so you could see how the corner looks. So I'm going to pick a stitch along this edge slide it, then knit three stitches, make a decrease and do it a few more times uh, so we can better see the corner. Okay, here we go. Now the eye cord is a bit longer and you can clearly see, I'm gonna put the needle aside, so you can clearly see that the corner has a perfect 90 degrees angle and it's not rounded, it looks just right. Here it is, a simple trick that creates a perfect corner. You probably noticed that my swatch is made of three stitch patterns, the stockinette stitch, seed stitch and gutter stitch. I did it on purpose to show you how to knit an eye cord around different stitch patterns. If you're curious, check the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.